Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I have a very cool mod to review for you guys. This is the 10 meter ground modification roller. File size for this is 24 megabytes. It changes the textures of your map on the ground so you can change it. There's 19 different variations to choose from and it's pretty much any ground texture you can you can think of. We're going to be going through all of them. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then we will get it out on the field and I will test it out for you. So let's get started. Okay once again this is the 10 meter ground modification roller. File size is 24 megabytes. Price in the shop is 9999 with a five dollar a day maintenance fee. To require power to pull this you only need 29 kilowatts and 40 horsepower so pretty much anything can pull that. Work speed of 17 kilometers an hour and a work width of 10 meters. Now there's 19 different modifications to choose from guys. I will run through them now. Uh, you can uh, choose from original ground, cultivated, plowed, sowed, sowed wide, grass field, asphalt, sand, concrete, pine needles, gravel, grass, leaves, rock, mud, plates, dirt, meadow, and lawn. So pretty much any ground texture you can uh, think of. Now, i got to give you a heads up about this that uh, you should know. There's a couple of errors in the logs, and it doesn't seem to affect the game at all. I've changed the texture of a whole field using all 19 different ones. Saved the game, came back, everything loaded up just fine. So, just so you know that. And if you decide to alter your map with this, and then you decide you're going to get rid of this ground modification after a while, your map will be altered when over the field with this. It'll turn back to grass, so just know that. If you're going to use this, just know it's going to alter your map for good. Uh, this is a multicolor mod. You can choose whatever color you want. You can also change the angle of this, and there's a remove grass option as well. So let's go over the shop, and we'll check out a couple of the specs. By the way, that's under miscellaneous in the shop. There it is there. There's all the stats I just told you. 17 kilometer an hour work speed is really good. Now, I reviewed this mod probably about a year ago. And uh, it was only one third the size, and you can tell by looking at it here that it's basically three three meter rollers attached. So very cool little mod, guys. I have to say. So we will go test this out now. Okay, I got my Fent 1050 here. I'm gonna get hooked up to this. I didn't really do a walk around. There wasn't much to see. Like I said, it's multicolor, and there's just a quick look at it there. Just so I don't uh, skip over that. Oops. Oh god. I did this the first time and I flipped it the same way. You watch, it's going to flip me right around in a big circle. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's what I'm talking about here. Now, I modified all this corner here. I put a line of each color going up. Well, almost every color, or every type. And uh, I saved it, came back, and it was all the same. It was all what I put down. Then, I went back out of the game. I got rid of the ground modification, came back, and this is what it was. So just know that if you decide to get rid of it, it's going to turn anything you altered back into the original ground. So, Okay, let's bring up the toolbar here. We'll try a couple of these right now. So you can see over in the toolbar in the top left hand corner, if you uh, press the, bu the X button, you can remove the grass or not, whatever you want. The Y button will go through your 19 different modifications. And uh, I thought there was a tilt option on this. 45, 90, 135. Okay, so you can go through that. I'm just going to leave it at zero for now. Now, you don't turn this on, guys. As soon as you lower it, it's going to start putting down what you have it on. So, cultivate it. Let's go with plowed. Just start there. So, as soon as I drop that down, it's going to instantly change it. Look at that. So it says a 17 kilometer an hour work speed. I seem to only get 16 out of it, but maybe it's because I'm on a little bit of a hill, maybe? Slight hill. So I'm gonna... You can't hire a worker with this, but I'm just using my cruise control. And I'll just go over where I went before. And then we'll change up to the next one, take a look at that. 
So these would be great for placeables. Look, you know, you're going to have to find yourself a nice flat piece of land if you want it to work out. Okay. Well, we can do it that way too, I guess, but I'd rather turn around. So this is sowed ground here. Okay, let's change that up to sewed wide. Looks like potato texture. Sugar beet. No, that's potatoes. Okay. Grass field. That's basically what it is now. Oh, that looks a little funky. Probably because it's not grown in yet. Then we got asphalt. Then we got sand. Concrete. Concrete's probably what you'd want to uh, go for if you're putting down placeables. There's also stone blocks or something, and they look pretty cool too. What was the name of them again? I kind of forget now. So that was concrete. Here we go with needles. Like pine needles kind of thing. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, you can tell they're needles too. Very cool. So it wouldn't take you long to, to do what you need to get done with this, that's for sure. Okay, let's change it again to grass. It's quite different from the color that's down. Okay, this is gravel. Cool. Then we have leaves, and it does look like leaves too. Looks like the ground after you cut down a bunch of trees. Okay, let's lift that up and we'll switch to the next one. Rock. Oh, it's like, yeah, flat. Like bedrock, almost. You see the cracks in it. That's cool. Okay. Mud. The mud looks really cool. You can actually see the puddles in it. Then we have plates. This is the one I was telling you about. Kind of reminds me of the Sosnofaga map on your farm. Pretty sure it's that it looks like that. But that looks nice too. Always we'll just go to the end here. We'll lift this back up. Oh. So I mean, if you alter a lot of it and you keep the ground modification roller in there in your game and don't take it out, it's going to be fine when you come back. Because when I say that it loaded everything up, no problem at all. Okay, next one is dirt. So you can see when I went to the edges of the field there, the grass that's not on the field was kind of poking up through it. You'd probably have to use the uh, remove, that's when you do the remove grass with the X key. So that looks pretty good for dirt. Next one is meadow. There's a few different grass ones here. Look, that's identical to what's down. Okay, next one is lawn. Wow, that's a different texture there. It's like in around the house and stuff. Okay, what's the next one? Ground. Did we already do that one? Original ground. So the original ground and the other one almost look identical. And then back to cultivate it. Pretty sure we did cultivate it. And back to plowed. So very cool mod, guys. You can definitely alter your map with this. You could pretty much change the ground to whatever you want. 
So there you have it guys, that was the 10 meter ground modification roller, fall size for that was 24 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out, and if you're new to the channel guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day, and Let's Plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that, if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.